بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از دا فرسٹ لیکچر فور بی ایس میتھ سیکنڈ سیمیسٹر اسٹوڈینٹس انگلش ٹو کورس اینڈ اٹ از دا فرسٹ پارٹ آف دا فرسٹ لیکچر دا ٹاپک آف دا لیکچر از جنریٹنگ آئیڈیاز آر ہاؤ ٹو جنریٹ آئیڈیاز فار رائٹنگ First of all, we should know what a strategy is. If we want to write something, we need to have some strategies to write. The first thing is writing anything needs ideas. Now these ideas can be generated with different strategies. A strategy is a plan that is intended to achieve a particular purpose. Brennan, in his book, A Writer's Workshop, has pointed out, it, pointed out five types of strategies for effective writing, one of which is strategies for generating ideas. There are different strategies through which a student, a writer, anyone can generate an idea for his writing. Now, dears. For many people, the toughest and the most difficult part of any writing task is getting started. No one knows how to get started. No one knows how to start writing the first sentence, what to write. Here are some exercises that will help you in this regard. Now these uh, following are some common strategies through which you, can, you will be able to generate ideas and you will be able to start your writing, to start writing about any topic. These are the different strategies, free writing, brainstorming, clustering, mapping, listing, researching, WH questions and invisible writing. Now dears. Let's talk about free writing. The first strategy through which you can generate in your ideas. For example, you are writing about uh, a star and you do not know what to write about a star. So the first strategy you need to follow is free writing. Free writing involves letting your thoughts flow freely on paper and are on your computer screen. Set aside a time frame like 15 minutes for writing or determined to write and fill a certain number of pages and get down to it. Write whatever comes to your mind. Don't worry about typos, spellings or any other surface level issue or mistake or any grammar or style. Just write until your time is up or your page goal is attained. Now this means that you start writing, you don't think about mistakes, you just write about a topic, whatever comes to your mind. For example, you are writing about school and now something comes to your mind. School is a place where people, where students read, where teachers teach, which is a building, which is located somewhere in a city. People come for learning there. There are different books. There are certain other things inside the school. Now you write many things. Now this gives you ideas about a topic. Now dears, the task is pause the lecture for five minutes and write one page on the topic my village okay start your five minutes welcome again dears you have practiced free writing now we are uh, discussing brainstorming another technique to generate ideas for writing brainstorming is an activity with which most people are familiar the object in brainstorming is to compile as large a list as possible of potential examples for a given topic this is a great activity to do in small groups or with the entire class to generate ideas to do it effectively usage of appropriate words and do ask 
as many questions as you can. This is a thinking process. This, you write your topic and then you think, you question what this topic is about, why it is important, where is it located, how to explain it, think about it and write every word, every idea that comes to your mind on the page. This is what brainstorming is. For example, the same topic, you are writing about my village and you write down all the ideas on the page for in the shape of words, you, you write my village, so population, educational ratio, and these things. You, know, you are thinking about your village and whatever you comes to your mind, you just brainstorm, you just think. And you articulate whatever comes to your mind on a page. Now, the second task. Pause this lecture for five minutes again. Brainstorm about Pakistan educational system. And the second topic is my university. Right? List different ideas on the page. Thank you. Okay, dears. Let's come back. Clustering. Clustering, also known as idea mapping, it is a strategy used to explore relationship and association between ideas. If you have run out of ideas on a subject or topic, write down the subject in the center of the page, highlight the subject either by underlying or circling it, think up an idea that relates to the subject and jot it down on your page, link the idea to the central subject. Cluster mapping is also part I, a part of idea generation and part organize, uh, organization of ideas. So students will know exactly how to group the ideas. We will be having another uh, lecture on mind mapping and clustering. But this time I just want to tell you that clustering means you just map your ideas on a page, you write your topic in the center and then you give arrows to different sides and you write the related ideas. For example, you write school in the middle and then you write students on one side, teachers on the other side and uh, principal on the other side, library on the other side, furniture on the other side. This is clustering. This is how to get I uh, generate ideas through clustering. Now there is another strategy through which you can generate your idea. It is very easy. It is listing. If one wants to write about a specific topic or communicate a certain idea, jot down, write down a list of single words and phrases that relates to general topic you are thinking about of the topic of your mind. Don't outline or edit at this point. Let the activity be uninhibited. When you are finished listing, group the items on your list in a logical manner and provide a label for each group. Write a sentence about each group and you will have several topics or themes or thematic sentences you can develop. Build on the topic sentences and define association of the groups to, the, to get broader topics or themes with possible points to write, to write on. This is again very simple. You just think about a topic list the relevant ideas don't think about the order of the words or the phrases you are writing on the page then divide these phrases and words into different groups these different groups sometimes are your major themes are a simple word right related word to your topic might be your theme then we have another uh, very, very authentic way of generating ideas. It is researching. You have given, you have been given a topic by your teacher or an assignment. You do not know anything about the topic or that assignment or that heading you are writing. You just research, you just search the resources through which you can get the ideas. Now the best 
way is visit the library or go to the writing center near you and browse dictionaries, thesaurus, guided books, and any other reference text that you find, even newspapers. You will be surprised at how much background information, how much facts and golden topic and ideas relevant to your topic project can you can can be can be traced. You can search these ideas and then you collect those ideas and then you, you know, organize those ideas in your own words and you, 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 you come up with some very relevant and interesting ideas of which you do, you are not aware before, before researching. Now, WH questions. There is another uh, process and it is the easiest way of generating ideas. You just question yourself about it, uh, regarding your topic. You have a topic, write the five WH questions. Who is involved or who question in the topic, what question in the topic, where question, when question and why question across your paper. List as many questions as you can think of that a reader might ask about your topic in those categories. Write down answers to these specific questions, features of your topic that might address those concerns. And these answers will be your themes for writing, will be your ideas for writing. For example, when the school, the topic is the school. Okay, when did this school came into existence? Who established this school? What is the purpose of this school? Where this school is located? You know, many questions. How many people are there in this school? What are studied in this school? Which, through which level, you know? Many questions. And these answers to these questions will be your ideas. The last but not the least is invisible writing. If you have trouble writing without constantly rereading and editing what you have said, this may work for you. Using computer, turn the contrast down on your monitor so the screen is blank. Type at least 20-30 minutes without looking at you have written, then turn the contrast up, ignoring typos, find out what you have to say. This is the easiest way. Now, dears. You do not see your computer screen because you have uh, turned off your contrast, turned down your contrast, and you are just writing anything that comes to your mind about a topic. And then you increase the contrast, and then you can see what have you written. And then you edit those writing. You know, this is a very, very interesting way of, of uh, generating ideas regarding the topic. Another task is the last task of this lecture is researching. I am giving you a topic how to write introduction, body and conclusion of an essay. Search different websites, collect ideas about this topic and share it with me. This lecture comprises 15 minutes, 5, 5 and 5 minutes are for your activities. So, we are finished with our first lecture. The tasks that you have completed will be, uh, you must send it on my email which is with you. Thank you so much for today.